Hey everyone, and welcome back to yet another video here in the Videos for Life YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a new show on Fox 9 KMSP called the Vikings Post Game. Tonight it, it was their first ever episode, and it was an hour long show after the Fox 9 News at 10 and 9 p.m. newscasts. And it's talking about the Minnesota Vikings NFL football. And if you're a foot Minnesota Vikings fan or an NFL football fan, you know they lost. You know the Vikings lost 20 to 17 to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it was in Minneapolis at home. And this show was pretty was a pretty good show, you know. In the first little segment, they broke down, like talked about the game, and broke it down a little bit, which I which is which I thoroughly enjoyed that segment. You know, you have um, Pierre Nugent, who is a sports reporter for Fox Nine, who does like the Timberwolves, and does. The Vikings on like um you know coverage now that they're doing extended Vikings coverage. You have um you have um Jim Rich who is the Fox Nine sports reporter at night. You know doing the sports segment on the five six. 9 and 10 o'clock news segments. And I don't know if he does at 7, 7.30, but he might. And you have Pete Bursage, who is a Vikings analyst for the radio games. And he is the analyst for Minnesota Vikings games on TV, the preseason games. Him and Paul Allen. He is Paul Allen is the play-by-play -play for the Minnesota Vikings. Every single preseason game, all three preseason games, and the seventeen regular season games on the radio. And Pete Bursage is the analyst. There's the color commentator analyst. And he fit in well in this show. I really liked having him. Him in this show. Like there are some other shows I watch where they did the breakdowns, like after um Sunday football, I'd watch um some, like the Care News, and they'd have the breakdown. And you know it was okay. You know it just felt like, kind of like people doing like a little bit more professional like podcast or something like that kind of thing. You know like, you know like, people knew a little bit more what they're talking about. They broke it down, but they weren't like experts at all by any means. You know. Breaking down the game. It's kind of nice to have someone who actually used to play for the Vikings. or And like coach for the Vikings and stuff like that. He was like around the team for a while. He actually knows a good bit about football, you know. You know. You know. To, um, you know, break it down. And it was nice, you know. I liked it, you know. Um, the first little bit. Um, was basically breaking down the game. The second segment, after the first, that's the first, for the first commercial break, the first segment. The second segment was Jim Rich and Pete Bursage going to their, a video screen. And they broke, and Pete Bursage broke down a few plays during the game. You know, things that didn't go so well and things that went well. You know, that they didn't talk about in the first little segment. They weren't going to, or talk about the first segment. We're going to talk about it all in the game. And then, the third of the little segment was, they went back and did some more talking about the game. And that was, I, you know, and all that was pretty awesome, you know. I mean... 
the breakdown segments is just like your typical breakdown segment. You know, on like a lot of these NFL shows. So, you know, nothing new there. But, you know, I really did like the, um, the segments where they're talking about it, the game. I really appreciate them. It's kind of like, kind of not super, not super, super, super in depth. But for, you know, for the t- for like, you know, for, it's kind of like a short little in depth segment about, you know, each segment was short and sweet. It was still an in depth for like the five minutes they had, you know. You know, it still provided like, you know, a good bit of context, you know. Um, and then they also had a, a fourth segment where they talked about, um, Bud Grant and his impact on, the, you know, on the team. Because it is, Bud Grant did die this year. Um, I believe it was in, like, March, I believe he died. And... And obviously he was the second ever coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Because he was coaching in Winnipeg. They, um, which I did not know that. Um, presumably for, like, a CFL team. In Canada. The Canadian Football League team. And he ended up becoming an NFL coach for second ever coach. Because he didn't want to be... You know, like an ex- the first coach ever, because obviously, you know, you know they may expect you to do well because you're an expansion team. You know, you may get pressure, and then you a second coach. You know, you if if the first coach doesn't do well, you know, you don't have a lot of pressure. You know, to do well, and you can certainly improve and last well, and you know, or if the first coach does well, you know, you just ha- you might have that pressure. You know, you have the expectations set. And, you know, he did really well, you know, obviously, you know, obviously he retired, and the Vikings was, like, Hall of Fame, obviously, you know, obviously, like, Ring of Honor, all that stuff, you call it, you know, you know, really influential coach, which I like that they talked about him in there, you know, and then they had another segment on Gabe Henderson and Ben Lieber's thoughts on the game and obviously Gabe Henderson is part of the Vikings Entertainment Network does stuff for like um does some of the shows on that you see on TV like Saturday nights after college football if it if college football like runs late like overflow to um like very very late you know like sometimes it's on at like one AM local here. There's one some games on if there's a nighttime game in like California, like a nighttime Pac twelve game or a nighttime West Coast game on Fox. Then you know, the games are then it's gonna be like on like really late. Um but usually if there's only three games and it's on after like a little bit of news and it might be on like eleven 30, 11, 11, 30 ish, you know, and, you know, and he's on those shows, or doing, like, you know, like, other stuff, maybe, you know, for the Vikings, like, social media stuff, or, you know, like, maybe, like, podcasts, or stuff like that, he's more in that role, and then he's, like, a spotter, I believe, for the Vikings during the games, or, like, the statistician. Spotter statistician type thing. thing. I know he is a statistician, but he might, he might spot. Uh, I, I think they, I think he is. I'm not for sure. I know he is a statistician though. For them. For, um. During for the radio games, obviously you know for Pete versus Jim Paul and during radio games, you know. So, and then segment six, you know, was where they talked about some games in the league. And it was, they had to get it in before them. 
the last was saying they only had a couple minutes left because they had to get in. Last so commercial break before the next show was on. But they talked about the. You know, it's kind of a bit of a teaser because I thought they were talking about the 49ers and Steelers. Because I mean, that's what they showed. Presumably, be, I'm guessing because they had. Or they had highlights because obviously, presumably, they showed that game on because there's two games on in each network day. Even though, obviously, then most people, obviously, would, if it's not like Fox, like it normally is, you know, they'll flip it, they'll look Google it or flip through the channels, you know, channel guide on TV or their antenna or stuff like that to find the game. So, presumably. So. But, and then they talked about the Packers and the Bears game, which... Obviously, if you're a Vikings fan, that game went really, that game was like a big fail right there. Um, because obviously, you know, Jordan Love did amazing, but it could all, but it could be a fact that Jordan Love is just, I mean, he is he good or is the Bears suck? No, because he's playing not the greatest teams, you know. So if once he plays, sometimes teams that weren't the greatest in 2023 will have him. So if he can, if the Packers can actually do well, if the um Jordan Love can actually do well against a decent against a team that's half decent, you know. When they play the Saints, I believe they play the Saints in Week Three. I want to say. So if they play the Saints, you know, maybe then I can see. Or I know they play the Lions Week Four. Or so one of those weeks, you know, if a Jordan Love looks kind of horrible, you know, then you know, then it's a fluke, you know, just playing sucky teams. You know, um, and then I was talking about the um, Patriots and the um, Eagles game, Eagles Patriots game, which the Eagles almost gave that game away. So you know, you know, there's hope on that one. You know, they're not that the Patriots defense is doing well, and if they have, if they can um, break down film of that game, like whether it's on um, YouTube highlights. You know, or if, like, you know, they have YouTube highlights, or maybe they have some of all the teams. You know, because I know they do have, like, NFL Plus and stuff, where you can have, like, the all 22 views and and all this stuff, so I'm sure they pay for that or get that free or something like that. You know, the coaches do all that stuff, so they can view all that film, all that looks of the games that they have on there, so... And I'm sure they have other stuff, maybe that, that you know, that, like mere, that you are like anyone can view, you know, any fan can view, you know. So we'll see, you know. But yeah, um, yeah, it, you know, and the Vikings are going to play the pa- are going to play the Eagles. I want to say Patriots, Eagles, on. Thursday Night Football, and it's going to be on Amazon Prime, and the game's going to start about 7.20, but that's probably for just like the pregame with the announcers, probably not going to theoretically start to about 7.30, but I probably have the game on just a little bit earlier, like 7 o'clock, just so you don't miss, like, make sure you don't miss any of the game, the accident, you know, happen to say, oh, it's... You know what I mean? He missed a couple plays, you know? Not like it's a horrible deal, but... Big, big deal if he missed, like, a player or two, but... You know, you just want to make sure... You just want to forget about it, you know? But yeah. Um. Was this the Vikings post-game tonight? On Fox 9. KMSP. Really good. I like the show, you know? Um. Peter News. Jim, Peter Nujum, you know, was, like, had some good energy in the show, and, you know, it was mainly, like, Jim Rich, um, taking the reins, you know, obviously he does, he mainly does, um, Fox 9 Sports Now on Sunday nights, so he's used to that, and Don Mitchell's used to doing it on the weekends, Fridays, and Saturdays, so, 
he was mainly taking the reins, you know. But Pierre Nugent did offer like a good bit of um, you know, there was a few like uh, their jokes they had in, you know, which kind of lightened the mood up, which it's kind of cool, which is kind of awesome, you know. Um, I really appreciate that, and I did like the show as overall, you know. I really did, you know, like, you know, it was, if it was like Jim Rich, you know, with Pete Bursage, you know, it might feel incomplete, I think, because, let's be real, like, because Jim Rich and is good, and he interviews players, like, like, um, people all the time on the show, not all every week, but he does do interviews, whether it's through, like, Zoom or in person, he does, but, you know, doing it, um, you know, doing it um, with someone else just, you know, adds a little bit to it, you know. Because if you just had it going back and forth, like Jim Rich asking Pete Burst's questions, you know, th- the whole hour long, it might just feel like incomplete a little bit this way, you know. You have a little bit more substance to talk about, you know. You know, with Peter Nugent, you know. You know, they can bounce off each other and, you know, change the conversation a little bit, which I appreciate, you know. And do I think this show's perfect? No. It's probably not as, obviously it's probably not going to be as good as, like, you know, if you watch, like, ESPN and, like, with, like, the best, the best, like, the best, the best national people. Obviously, if it's not, never going to get that big. We have, like, ESPN-type personnel on there. But it was a good show, you know, still for being, like, local sports people and, like, like a like a, I mean, like a pretty good local announcer, play by play color commentator announcer, color commentator analyst announcer, and Pete Bursage, you know. It was a pretty good show. I liked it. I give it. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 for the first ever episode. And this... And I'm literally doing this, like, I literally started, um, doing this video, like, right after, um, I finished watching here on my phone on fox9.com slash live on the, my phone's browser. I literally ended up doing the video, like, right afterwards, so, that tells you, you know, you know, I want it, you know, I pretty much like this show. And so also, so I didn't forget my thoughts on the episode, but it was really good and really thoughtful, really good show, you know. I liked it, you know. You know. I just, you know, that much more to say, so. I'm going to let, you know, everyone, you go, and have a good day, and let me know. I don't know on this one. Let me know if they're doing one Vikings um, post scheme tonight. At 10.35. I wonder if they are. Um, It said it was going to be after every Vikings game. So I don't know if it's going to be after the Thursday night game. On. Um, on um, Fox night. If they have like. Because I know. Um, you know since it's on streaming. I don't know if their contract. Like obliged you know by NFL rules. You know to show. Um. A scheme for free over the air. Maybe they are, but if they have a little new segment, maybe even if um, Pete Pete Burser just uh, you're doing the radio portion, is it's still gonna be um, Jim Rich and Pierre Nugent. I don't know. Hmm, I wonder, but if you know, I might. I'll probably do my thoughts on that one because there's gonna be some you know, where the Vikings are playing Sunday night, you know. You know, or there's going to be somewhere. Pete Bursage obviously is in the studio. Is obviously like, is obviously like, they might have a game say, you know, he might be in, you know, in a hotel room. You know? You know, so, we'll see, you know. Um, because if they're, tra- if the Vikings are traveling, you know, say like, Philadelphia, you know, he'll stay, he's probably not going to obviously travel there, or he's not going to be, that game's like an exception, but say like they travel to Lambeau and play a game, 
They will feel the Green Bay play an even noon game. Like, yeah, you might be on the radio till say, 4 o'clock even. And then you'll be, at the very latest, you know, the overtime, if the overtime went full length time. And you're obviously not going to come. I mean, you might come back, but I kind of doubt, you know, you'd come back and to Minnesota and be, and be anxious, you know, to do them. You know, and actually, um, go to studio by, you know, so much time. You know, because you'd be unpacked. You know, you'd be, um, you would, I guess you wouldn't really be packing. But you might, I guess, if you, um, went there, came there, with the, flew with the team, like, Saturday night, you know, I guess, maybe. Maybe did how the team did. Maybe if they're staying, you know, until Monday, come back, like, Monday. You know, so, you know, maybe. But anyways, um, the first show was good. I really enjoyed it, and I got a 9 out of 10. Vikings post game tonight. Week one. And I'm gonna do not a reaction to each my thoughts each week. I'm just gonna be my thoughts if they're like there's one. Like, you know, without just um Jim Lujum Jim Rich. Or if there's or if um the first one with um Pete Versage doing it from Zoom if like they're doing um like say a noon or a three twenty five game. On the road, you know, and people are doing it through Zoom, and how they change up through Zoom, you know, or how they do it with just them. Um, Pierre Nugent and Jim Rich, how they adjust those two, you know. We'll see, you know. So, looks like, take care.